In the past century, life expectancy has increased dramatically. A person born in 1900 could only expect to live to about 40, whereas today, the life expectancy has doubled that in many regions and continues to increase across the globe even today. It's estimated that every generation, which is every 25 years or so, the life expectancy increases by approximately 3 years, and this trend has yet to show a sign of stopping. Surely this continual increase must stop as the body should eventually wear down due to old age, but what if it didn't? Scientists have identified a few factors that play a major role in the aging process, and they believe that the effects of these factors could be reversed or at least reduced to some effect. Today we'll be looking into all the potential ways humans can significantly increase their longevity and even ways that we could literally become immortal, ranging from telomere shortening to, to cryonics to downloading your own mind into a computer. Let's get into it. Scientists have identified a key factor that plays a dramatic role in the aging process, telomere length. Telomeres are calves at the end of every DNA strand within us that protects our chromosomes. These telomeres get slightly shorter each and every single time a cell divides, and when they get too short, they can no longer protect the chromosomes, and this can lead to premature aging. It's also been proven in rat studies that oxygen-deprived offspring have significantly shorter telomeres than those with a higher level of oxygen. When translated to humans, this means that if a child is born to a mother who was a heavy smoker while being pregnant, this child could age significantly faster than a child who was born to a non-smoker. Evidence for telomere length playing a role in the aging process has become so strong that they are now being used as biomarkers for certain age-related diseases. So what if we could continually keep our telomeres at an optimal length? It's been theorized that we could use nanobots to repair our shortening telomeres. But what would that mean? Would aging be a thing of the past? Well, not entirely. While nanobots that repair our telomeres could extend the average lifespan by decades, there's many factors that go into the aging process. There's oxidation stress, natural brain deterioration, and other factors that play a role. But that doesn't mean we can't use telomere length to at least slow down the effects. Studies have shown that sticking to a Mediterranean diet may play a factor in longer telomeres, and as always, eating well and exercising have been shown to decrease aging. The pioneers for eradicating aging are already out there, but we certainly got a long way to go in a world in which we use nanobots to naturally lengthen our telomeres is something that could happen in the next couple decades. Cryonics deals with preserving your body in liquid nitrogen so that it cannot be broken down by the environment like it is when you're buried, and gives you the hope that technology sometime in the future will be able to bring your preserved body back to life. For the low price of 200,000 US dollars, you can cryogenically have your body frozen with the hope that you'll be woken up in the year 3033 by a cyborg in a world where humans and AI have merged. There are several questions regarding cryonics though. While the whole body, including the brain, remains structurally intact, it's believed that freezing the brain in liquid nitrogen destroys the synapses that hold memories. So if you did come back, you would have no sense of self, and you'd basically just be a blank state. However, Ralph Merkel, who has frozen 153 people at Alcor Life Extension Foundation Cryonics Facility in Arizona, says otherwise. He claims there is still excellent preservation of the synaptic structure, and uses experiments of roundworms retaining memory after being frozen as an example. He also notes that preservation of memory isn't just in the synapses, and even if memories were to get damaged, that there will likely be technology in the future that allows us to make repairs to the frozen brains so the memories stay intact. Cryonics certainly is an intriguing option, that is if you've got the money to cough it up on your deathbed. Mind uploading is the notion that you don't even need a body or even a brain to exist. Your consciousness could literally exist entirely on a computer. The key to uploading the brain is the connectome, which is a map of all the brain's neural pathways and connections that come together to allow the brain to function and unify as a conscious whole. We aren't yet able to map out the entire brain, but we should be able to in the next couple decades. 
Once this is achieved, we can actually upload the mind to a computer. We could live infinitely in the virtual realm. We could literally do whatever we wanted. We could even use artificial bodies to experience the real world with enhanced abilities and heightened senses. In this sense, we could actually exist forever, and we wouldn't be wasting resources as we wouldn't even need food or water to operate. A world like this seems utterly impossible, but we're actually much, much closer than one may think. This could actually happen in the next few decades. It's also believed that we could extend our lives using artificial intelligence. If we aren't wiped out by artificial intelligence, there's a very strong chance that we merge with it. World-famous futurist Ray Kurzweil quoted, By the 2030s, we will have nanobots that can go into a brain non-invasively through the capillaries, connect to our neocortex, and basically connect it to a synthetic neocortex that works the same way in the cloud. So we'll have an additional neocortex, and we'll use it to add additional levels of abstraction. These additional levels of abstraction refers to how these nanobots could give us much elevated brain power, as well as make us healthier and extend our lifespans. These nanobots could be able to go into the bloodstream and rid the body of invasive bacteria, viruses, and other toxins. They could also rid our body of blood clots and tumors, correct DNA errors, and even as I mentioned earlier, change the length of telomeres to the optimal length. Who knows how many years this could add to the average lifespan and just the overall quality of life. The world certainly has been changing at a profound rate. The world we live in now is almost incomprehensible to someone a century ago, and is so insanely different from the world even 25 to 30 years ago. All these ideas may seem far-fetched, but everything in our world today once seemed far-fetched. Tell me what you thought of these different steps towards immortality. Which was the most interesting? If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. It makes the YouTube algorithm promote my videos more, and if you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. I post all sorts of stuff like this for the curious mind. Have a great day, and peace.